I am the first AD of this show. I have, this is my second shoot with Vet TV. The first one was Recruiters, had a great time, directed by Katrina, our line producer. It's been a great experience all around, I would say. Working with veterans is actually really interesting and I think really beneficial to the set. A lot of people don't know that the way a film set is run really imitates the way that the military is run. We use a lot of the same lingo, the hierarchy, the structure of the day and how the workflow is oriented. It actually mimics the set of a military. For example, all of our walkie terminology, 10-1, 10-2, this and that, is all military-based. Uh, there's a, it's a clothes pin essentially for most people, but we call them C-47s that we use to grip things, and that's from the military. So working with veterans is really interesting because everyone tends to already know, A, most of that lingo, and B, is already very disciplined, very respectful, knows how to stop talking on a dime, knows how to suddenly focus in, which is really crucial and really time-saving when you're in a film set. Definitely something that you don't often see from uh, amateurs or people who uh, don't typically work in film. So with veterans, it actually tends to run even smoother. It's really great. Settle, guys, this is it, and action. Answer the damn phone. You guys want to explain that? Uh, officer, that mess is not mine. The film set is a very fast-paced environment. You really need to be able to work well under pressure. It's a lot of rapid-fire problem-solving as issues come up as well. Suddenly finding solutions to this line doesn't work, this actor isn't here, the light's hitting wrong, we have to suddenly change shots, change stories, improvise, and just come up with solutions on the spot, which is one of the most fun parts of it for, for some people, but you really have to be able to think on your feet and problem solve creatively, as well as keep a million things in your brain at once. Uh, specifically as an AD, my job on set is to lead every single department to success and execute the vision of the director in the most efficient way possible. Right on Rattle! Rat 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 you are <laughs> So this comes down to blocking rehearsals, camera rehearsals, deciding what shots you need, deciding what order we're going to shoot them in, deciding what kind of equipment we're going to use to shoot it, and how quickly that's going to happen. And then from all of those decisions that are made by myself, the DP and the director, communicating that to every single other department and giving them a time frame very specifically, telling them exactly what I need from them, what props I need on standby, what wardrobe we need ready, not just for this scene that we're about to shoot, but for the next three coming up. Often we're multitasking on set because you don't have enough time. So while we're in one room shooting something, my art team is setting another set. My wardrobe is already prepping costumes for this. My makeup is like, adding blood to props and VFX and working on other things. Everyone's working on 10 things at once, so rapidly multitasking and uh, just never losing your cool are the most important things, definitely, because you're working under pressure with people. I love working with Fernando. He is an uh, incredible director because A, he's got great instincts. He's really an actor's director, which is what a director needs to be. But specifically, as a first-time director, you'll often run into the problems where a director doubts themselves, doubts their instincts, and needs to overshoot and doesn't trust their department head. Fernando is great because he trusts his actors, he trusts his department heads, and in doing so allows for a lot of collaboration, creative freedom, and we've actually added a lot more content and subtlety and subtext and funny. We've added so many more jokes to the script in being able to do so, and we've moved quickly, and uh, he hasn't stopped and doubted himself, which is just the best thing in the world. So I love working with Fernando, but we've actually got a shot up. I gotta start rolling. Thank you.